Ed Asner is one of America's most lovable actors. He's best known for playing the role of the gruff but caring editor, Lou Grant. But Asner is also a man who plays politics, and it has cost him in his acting career. What is this, Carlos? I kept my mouth shut for a lot of years while I was coming up the ladder. Finally, there came a point, and, and when, when, I, when I became embroiled in all that hullabaloo as president of SAG and as, and as a, a promulgator of medical aid to El Salvador, I certainly wasn't out to blacklist myself. Uh, it happened. Today, we want to say clearly to President Reagan in the White House and Secretary Haig in the State Department that their enemies in El Salvador are not our enemies. On the heels of the success of Lou Grant, Asner's outspokenness suddenly plunged his life into chaos. Except for the short-lived series The Bronx Zoo last year, he has been without a major TV series since 1982. The refusal to consider me over the years for movies because of my television activity has been barbarous. Uh, it, is, uh, it occurs less so now, but the boat has sailed. Asner has also had his share of personal problems, the end of a 29-year-old marriage to wife Nancy, the birth of a son, Charles, out of wedlock a little over a year ago, and his constant battle to control his weight. Yet, despite all the twists and turns, today he's on stage, starring with Madeline Kahn in the Broadway-bound revival, Born Yesterday. I certainly am happy to make your acquaintance. Thank you so very much. Sit down. <laughs> Why don't you accept this particular role in this play? You have to realize, with the debacle of, of uh, Bronx Zoo, and it it um, it stimulated a lot of um, unhappiness with me in television. So I wanted to get away from television. It is a job which helps pay the bills, so that was necessary. The idea of working with Madeline in a classic like this pretty hard to refuse. When you come in on stage, here's this lovable guy that the people have grown to care about in so many different roles, and all of a sudden in this play. You the bad guy. It has uh, it has been a surprise to certain people, uh, unsophisticated people who have come to the play and and seen this bastard. My job is to make him a bastard that you can understand, even even feel a little sorry for. The truth is, variety has been the cornerstone of Ed Asner's career. But mention one of his past successes, and you might be surprised. Mary Tyler Moore Show. Seven years of a trip to Oz. The Lou Grant show. Lou Grant was a nightmare. It was an inordinately difficult show to make, to produce, to achieve all that it achieved. Today, with seven Emmy Awards under his belt, Ed Asner can look back at his acting career with pride in the fact that he has also been able to speak out on his own political causes. I never in a million years expected to succeed uh, as well as I have. And I feel that the, the greatest service I can do uh, is to call people's attention to something that they may not be getting out of their radio, TV, uh, movies, books, or magazines, or papers. But I take pride in the fact that I think I'm being a good American when I do it.